faster the better. One time, one thing, you gotta go. Shortly after it was confirmed that the mountain had in fact begun to spew smoke and ash, the area was evacuated. We were among the last to leave. We had spent the morning at the timberline above Spirit Lake with a team of seismologists from the University of Washington. Uh, had the unusual opportunity a few minutes ago of, of recording an earthquake and feeling it at the same time. Seismologist doesn't often get a chance to do that. Late in the morning, a moderate quake measuring 3.5 on the Richter scale shook the mountain. We could feel the quake and the smaller tremors that followed. Cameraman Tom Hopkins, his lens trained on the mountain, was taken by surprise. Ooh, baby. Hey. If you look closely, you can see the avalanche high on the mountain caused by that earthquake. Before we were evacuated, I heard a large noise that sounded like an explosion or sonic boom. The smell of sulfur was strong. But despite the apparent danger, 84-year-old Harry Truman remained holed up inside his lodge at Spirit Lake. Harry's going to stay. It's his choice. Yep. Let's go. I want to be the last one and tell everybody's out. On Mount St. Helens, Stan Wilson reporting. Channel 2 News.